So to shift from the way things currently are to the possibility of knowing true sister and brotherhood does require a certain vulnerability that there is something larger, something to surrender to. The word surrender for, for me has a bit of a bad rap, as does vulnerability. And when I think about the, the symbolism of raising the white flag of surrender in a battle, usually the person raising the flag is realizing that the circumstance they find themselves in is not going to prevail. And there's something larger and more powerful than the circumstance and the way in which they've been either fighting the war or arguing or whatever it is that they're raising the flag about. So there's something larger, more powerful. And if we're going to speak about surrendering to the creator, surrendering to love, um, it is it is a creative invitation to do it before the battle gets too intense. Because I've often spoken about the blessed state of desperation and that is normally when someone raises the flag and says, this is not working anymore and surrenders to there must be a bigger, larger plan of which I'm connected. That I am part of, which is the interesting part that gets forgotten. Like people feel like they're surrendering to something that will take them over. And what's what happens is you surrender and realize I have a place. I am part of this incredible reality. I find myself in a divine reality where you are my brothers and sisters. I need you, you need me, we need each other. We are a body of, of creators together. As creator beings, if we really perceive ourselves as being powerful once we have um, connected to the larger reality, the divine reality, it, we are in position now to emerge into that which takes vulnerability to the fact that there is a pattern, there is a design, I'm part of it, I'm in it, I'm important, and now the courage to be myself, to create as myself, not as the person who has bought into a reality that's falling apart, not the person who is protecting themselves from the fact that change is going to happen anyway, why not consciously participate in the change, be courageously myself, be vulnerable to the the motive, not the motivating, the um, innervating nature of love in my being. 